This is to make an arbor to take up the gap. See how easily that moves? That's no good. We've got to take up that gap. There's a piece of tape. Put it around. Take it. Keep it from moving. And uh, serves as an arbor. buy the kit it comes with this what we call a stem swivel it's what I call a stem swivel I import these I can't find them anywhere in the United States so I import them it has a 90 pound something like a 90 pound breaking strength or something and whatever float you're making or this is how I make them and for those of you who bought the do-it-yourself kit it's how I do it you place the stem onto the blank of your um, what is this thing called The, the stem. <laughs> you place the stem of the stem swivel onto the stem of the float, okay? <laughs> Bunch of stems. I use a fly tying bobbin <clears throat> with, um, I'm using just simple embroidery thread. Embroidery thread has a nice sheen to it. It's a smooth, um, doesn't have as many. <sighs> I knew that would happen. Also need some scissors. I use thread snips. Uh, I have to I can hold it and still have my hand free. You don't need it if you're making just a few of these, but since I'm in sort of in a production environment, I have to use a lot of them. Your stem for the cork, you place it on, hold it with your thumb like this, so that it extends out maybe a quarter of an inch beyond the float. Right. Now what I do is put a little bit of a bend in it like so, so that the center of the stem is now in the, it's in the center plane, in line with the center of the stem itself, right? You don't have to do that, it will work fine. You don't have to put that little bend, but I do because it's just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and it makes more sense to people. Then you're gonna take your thread, put it between your thumb and your middle finger, hold it in place, you're gonna start here down here and wrap it up toward the eye of the hook, All right? And then you're gonna come back down at touching turns. And then what I do is come here and start to brand everything together. Let me get it a little lot tighter. Now that tag in there, we're gonna snip that off with the thread snips. And then we'll just continue to wind the thread onto the, just having this swivel dangle down below that right there is about all you need to secure it to just make it more decorative. You could hold it at an angle and then just start wrapping it back like that. All right, you see that? Okay. And then you'll come back and start touching turns again. Touching turns is something that we talk about. You literally want the thread to touch the previous wrap of thread with no gap in between. Now you could wrap it like this by hand like that. It would be faster, but I find you don't get the true touching turns that way. It's just not as accurate, really. As every wrap comes around, using your thumb to just push it back 
and that way you know you have touching turns. And now from here, you can do some other fancy things if you like. Let me show you. You can just keep going here. You could go at a slightly steeper angle. And right there, like that. You can just keep going up if you want. Stop here again and do the same thing for about 10 turns or so to begin the finite whip finish. Okay, so <laughs> take a piece of string or a piece of thread, tie a surgeon's loop, tie a loop like this, a couple of inches long, and you're gonna put this under the thread that you just wrapped. So under it like that, okay? So that stays in place. And you're gonna continue this wrap forward or, 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 or up or down or however direction. Just continue it. You wanna get a, at least 10 wraps on this. You can use multicolored thread. You can use, you know, embroidery thread that you can get from Walmart works well. Just make sure that the thread is not cotton. It really won't matter. It's just that the synthetic threads are a lot cleaner. There's a lot less fuzz and all that kind of thing, especially with embroidery thread. And embroidery thread is fairly strong. Uh, there's much stronger threads out there, but aesthetically, you know, this is a thread that's meant to look good. And so you know, I have to make my stuff look good if I'm going to sell it, right? But for you, if you just have some regular old sewing thread around the house, just use it. You know, don't, don't you don't have to go out and buy anything new. Tag in. I mean, kind of keep your finger here. Cut that, right? And don't let it unwind, right? You'll be so you'll be so mad with yourself. Then it's very important. You see the loop here? You're gonna take the tag into that thread and run it through that loop, just like that. Make sure you get it like that. Then you're gonna pull this thread back through. That, my friends, is locked in and won't come loose. Now you wanna pull it some. This is why you have to do it about 10 or 20 wraps here on the end and start pulling it. So it, it'll, once it starts to kind of tighten, that's when you just snip it off. And that, my friends, is how you mate the stem swivel to the cork stem. If you want to know more about these floats, check them out on the website, blackwarriorlures.com. I got a special 24 floats for $32, include shipping. And if you want to know more about how these floats are made, click the subscribe button and then click the little bell by it so you'll be notified because I plan on doing several more videos in this little bit. All right, see ya.